how to find your iMeyer number if your phone is misplaced or stolen and how to erase your device so that if you do not get your phone back, it is not misused. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown. How are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you're not, because of the fact that you've misplaced your phone, I'm very sorry. Let's make this simple, quick and easy. The first thing what you need to do is get hold of a laptop or a smartphone that is connected to the internet. Now, you need to ensure that that browser's history is completely deleted. So you could just check Control H or click on that option from the keyboard and clear browsing history. Click on advance, ensure that this is checked to all time and click on clear. Once your browsing history is cleared, you are going to get back to google.com, the search engine. Here, you could type in find my device. Find my device is a tracking application by Google. You could utilize this to try and track your phone. But if you're not able to track your phone, there is a system in place wherein you could get your IMEI number for future purposes and you could erase your data from that misplaced phone. Now, in order for this to work, you need to ensure two things. You remember the email address that was on the phone and the second thing is it has to be connected to the internet. So chances are that your phone is still online. So assuming that it is true, let's click on this link for find my device. So you're going to be prompted to log in with the same email address that was on your lost or stolen phone. So use that email address and log in. If you do not remember the email address, you do not remember the password, try recovering it. After you do so, log in. After you log in, this is going to be the dashboard and, and wherever your phone was last is going to be seen on Google Maps out here exactly to a street, exactly to a location or a building. Okay, so you could maybe just rush back to that place and see if your phone is still there. If you do not get it, then you could adapt these methods to erase that device. So the first thing is, in order for you to get your IMEI number, you could just click on this information button. You get a pop-up, you could uh, get the IMEI number out here itself. You could take a screenshot, save it on your desktop that you're using or your phone, or you could just uh, you know write this down for future purposes. And in order for you to erase the data, Assuming the fact that your phone is still connected to the internet, you are going to get an option to erase all content from the device. Now, how this works is that whatever content on your device is synced to your email account that you are logged into here is going to be deleted. So if you log in with the same email address and all your photographs or videos or important files or information was uh, synced to your Google account, that is going to be erased from that device. But if you're having data that you want to delete from a removable store, like a micro SD card, now that is something which is not going to happen through this technique. For that, I'm going to make a separate video in which I'll show you how to even ensure that your data from your removable SD or memory card is even erased. I hope this was interesting and I hope you got some value out of my video for today. If you did, give my video a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care my friend.